For the first Harmony software demo, we're going to look at Reaper's effect called Revoice. This comes with Reaper and is described as a MIDI-controlled multi-voice pitch shifter. If you don't know what MIDI is, that's fine. You'll get the idea as we go through this demo. If you want to learn more about what MIDI is, you can either see our article, MIDI Recording, What Is It and Why Is It Awesome? at this URL, and or go through our course, The Newbie's Guide to Audio Recording Awesomeness 2, Pro Recording with Reaper. Anyway, let's take a look at Revoice. First, we need some audio to put some harmonies to. So let's insert a track and either sing something yourself, just record it in there, or if you want to follow along with what I'm doing, you can download the melody to Son of the Sea from homebrewaudio.com slash tutorials slash resources. You can usually get there from the homepage menu under resources and tutorial files as well. And it's at the bottom of the page under for Harmony Recording Awesomeness, Son of the Sea Lead Vocal. Now that we have some audio to put some harmony to, we need to add a second track. So double click here and let's call this Revoice Harmony 1 and click on the FX button to load the revoice effect. Click on Kakos, then double click on revoice. Pay special attention to this parameter right here where it says center note. It is set to C4. That's a particular C note on the piano keyboard. I'll show you what that means in just a second. So let's go ahead and close that. Now we need to insert a MIDI item. Let's insert one that's as long as the audio on track one. So let's make a selection the same size. Now click Insert, New MIDI Item. Then hit the Escape button to deselect. The next thing we need to do is to feed the audio from track one onto track two. We do this by what's called a send. Come over here on track one to where it says Route and click on that and click on Add New Send. And in the drop down, choose track two, Revoice Harmony One. So now audio is being sent to track two. You need to do this for revoice so that the MIDI in this track has something to manipulate in order to create harmonies. Now put your cursor toward the beginning of the MIDI item here and double click. That brings up the MIDI editor. Remember when we looked at the revoice settings and I said to take note, no pun intended, of the fact that the center note was set to C4. Here is why. Let's go ahead and play some of what's happening above. I'm the wind on the ocean. I'm now do the same thing, but hold down the C4 key with your mouse. Press play first. I'm the wind on the ocean. I'm one with the land. You probably didn't hear much except that it got a little louder. That's because C4 is set as the center note. So if you click on C4, it's just going to generate unison, a double of the audio that's coming in. Now let it play and just start clicking any other key above and below it. I'm the wind on the ocean, I'm one with the land. I'm the mist rolling over the lee. I have made human history and I am still here. Ouch. Some of that was pretty darn ugly, wasn't it? Here's what Revoice is doing. When the center note is played on the keyboard, it generates a double of whatever note is being sung. It creates a unison copy of those notes. However, if you play the next note up from the center note on the keyboard, Revoice generates a note one half step, or semitone as it's sometimes known, up from whatever note is being sung. Then each subsequent note up or down on the keyboard adds or subtracts another half step interval and so on. We really need to have a very quick micro interlude here into just a spoonful of musical theory. I'm sorry, but it has to be done, like eating one's vegetables. I'm going to load up Reaper's virtual keyboard here by going to View, Virtual MIDI Keyboard. Okay, when you move up or down from any key, let's start with C as an example. C4, by the way, is middle C. One note up from that is this black key here, which is C sharp. That is a half step up from C. This next note is two notes up, and that is another half step up from C sharp. So this is one half step, that's two half steps, 
three half steps, four half steps, etc. Likewise for going below C. One note to the left from C is B. That is one half step down. One half step down from B is B flat, this black note here. That is another half step. A is another half step, etc., etc. Okay, back to the revoice explanation. Since the center note was set in the plug-in settings as C4, which is middle C, revoice plays a unison copy of whatever is being sung if you hold down the C4 note while the audio of the melody is being played. The same is true if a MIDI file is playing a C4 note right there. I'm the wind on... The first note that's actually being sung in the melody of this song on the words I'm the is a G note. So Revoice senses that it's a G note. And if you play the C4 note, it'll play back the same G note for those two words because the center note just plays back in unison. If you play the C sharp for note, this right here, either hold down that key or I'm going to drag this up, Revoice will convert the sung G notes into a half step up from G, which is G sharp. If you combine those two, it's really ugly, like this. I'm the... Just the I'm the, you get a G from the audio and a G sharp from Revoice. If you play the D4 note on the keyboard, I'll just slide that up to the D4 note right there, Revoice will generate an A note when these two words are sung. I'm the... Still ugly. That A note is two half steps up. One two, and so on. Obviously the same thing when you go underneath the C. The revoice notes play on track two down here at the same time as the audio above it, which is how you get your harmonies. But the fact that revoice creates plus or minus one half step for each note on the keyboard further away from the center note, it gets confusing. Heck, just saying that is confusing. This is just one of the reasons why using software to create harmonies is more difficult than just singing them. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and delete this. To create the same tenor or middle harmony part that was written for Son of the Sea, I started out by making notes of how many half steps up or down from the melody that the harmony part was. If you're really good with music theory, then that's probably the best way to do this. But I'm not. I had to create MIDI notes and then sort of drag them up and down and around until I got the right notes. It does help to know what the notes are for the harmony part that you're working with. I'm going to go ahead and load up the actual sung harmony for the tenor part here as a reminder, as a reference. I'm going to add a track, Control T. Line it up here to make sure that it starts at the same time as the melody. I'm the wind on the ocean. Okay, as a reminder. I'm the wind on the ocean. I'm one with the land. I'm the wind. So, I'm the wind. So we can use this as reference. So now let's open up our MIDI track on the revoice track here. I'm the wind on. Let's mute the harmony track. So we're going to want, I'm the. I'm the wind on. I'm the wind. Let's zoom in. I'm the wind. I'm the wind. So I'm the looks like it covers. I'm the wind. Right about there. Okay. Wind is below wind. So it's going to have to be below C4. So let's try. I'm the wind on. I'm the wind on the ocean. I'm the wind on the ocean. Wind, that's too high. I'm the wind on the There, that's the right note. Stretch it out so it lasts as long as wind on the. I'm the wind on the ocean. Okay, and then go the ocean. Still below what the melody is singing. The ocean, I'm Melody's going ocean, and the harmony is ocean. So let's see. The ocean. I'm Ocean, I'm wow, got it right the first time. So from the beginning. I'm the wind on the ocean. I'm okay, and I will just continue 
doing it like this. And now I'll pull the old cooking program trick and say, here's one I did earlier. This is what it looked like when I was done, about 30 minutes later. It ended up looking something like this. And it sounded like this. I'm the wind on the ocean, I'm one with the land. I'm the mist rolling over the lee. I have made human history and I am still here. I'm the nine and the son of the sea. Note how unnatural that sounds. Sounds like robots and chipmunks singing. That's one of the problems that a lot of harmony generating software programs have. We can minimize that a little by turning the volume of the harmony down, which you'd probably normally do anyway. I'm the wind on the ocean, I'm one. Okay, now we would do the same thing with the high harmony. Let's get rid of the middle harmony here, which I had in there just for reference. Add a new track. We'll call it Revoice Harmony 2. And remember the setup, we have to not only add revoice as an effect, but we have to create a send from the melody audio track to the revoice track. We've done one for the first harmony. Let's click on route to do it again. Add a new send, and we'll send it to track three. Now I'll just go through the same process as I did with the tenor harmony. And here's what that sounded like when it was done. Again, we might want to turn it down a little. I'm the wind on the ocean, I'm one with the land. Let's listen to both harmonies, all three parts together. A real voice and two revoice generated voices. I'm the wind on the ocean, I'm one with the land. I'm the mist rolling over the lee. I have made human history and I am still here. I'm the man and the son of the sea. So, if you think that that sound is something that you'd like, as unnatural as it is, then you can use Revoice just like this to create multiple harmonies.